But my name, my name is Rick Lico, uh, a longtime friend of the Donato family, uh, and I am honored uh, to be here as the MC for today's festivities. And this is a very special, a special day for this 100th anniversary game. Uh, who, who better to dedicate the field than North Attleboro Red Rocketeers and the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers? I know for a fact that there's three beautiful smiles right now, uh, proud and, and happy and humbled uh, by today's uh, ceremonies. Lord God, we sing your praises without ceasing. You rule over all things with wonderful order. We entreat your kindness that this ball field and its facilities will continue to, will contribute to leisure activities that renew the spirit and strengthen the mind and the body. Uh, good morning, North Attleboro. It's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, I am State Representative Adam Scanlon, and I'm proud to be a Red Rocketeer from North Attleboro. North Attleboro has always been a community with great traditions and honor in celebrating the way we go about in our community, whether it be giving back and helping our young people reach for the stars. So this year uh, we have two athletics winners. The first one um, is Alex McCoy. Alex, where are you? Come join me up here to get your check. Alex is headed to Boston College. He's a three-sport athlete here at uh, North Attleboro. Uh, his, uh, his mother, Margaret, is here as well. And um, interested in becoming an investment banker and being a role model to everybody else who, uh, who's graduating. So Alex, congratulations. This winner is, uh, is Colby Fye, another three-sport three athlete here at, at North Attleboro. We have our performing arts winner, uh, Nicole Manti. Are you here? If we don't have Nicole, that's okay. We'll talk about her. Um, so we have uh, Nicole is, is the mother of Hadley Manti, our, our performing arts winner this year. She's headed to the University of Mary Washington. Congratulations to uh, Hadley Manti as well. I want, I want everybody 50 years or older to raise their hand. So it was about 55 years ago. And with the ringing of the bell, all I heard was, come on, sugar, you can do it, sugar. I said, what's going on here? Well, there's a, there's a new kid in town, and he's on the baseball team, and his mother doesn't know anybody, so she calls everybody sugar. One of the things that Gary really did for me was introduce some people that I would have never become friendly with or probably never even known. And through the course of that, it certainly has made me a better person. Bull Donato. Has there ever been a more appropriate nickname? This morning, I'm going to talk about a few aspects of Gary's personality that <clears throat> contributed to his reputation and lives on here today. Just some things that made me happy when I was with him, and I'm hoping might make you smile here this morning. We're all 70 year olds now, 70 years old now, and some of my teammates are still limping from their encounters with Gary back in those days. Gary is the greatest storyteller of our generation. That in combination with his unbelievable, tremendous sense of humor, not just that he was hilarious, but that he was also a great audience for the humor of others, made him so much fun to be around. People wanted to be near him. Those who are here today who spent time t with him know that every single time you saw him, you smiled. And you knew that within minutes, you were going to be laughing. I believe Gary's most important personality trait, the one that contributed most to his reputation, is that he was gentle with gentle people. I can't overstate the impact of this. When the biggest guy in the room is caring, kind, and even protective of others, people will love him. That's the way Gary treated people, and we did love him for it. I'm sure you didn't know Gary, but you're taking part in a special dedication today, a game you all love. We've talked about how love is the key word in today's ceremony. But as Coach Smith has pointed out, years from now, you can say, I played in the inaugural game at Donato Stadium the 100th anniversary of Attleboro versus North Attleboro. You can pass those stories on, and within those stories, the story of Gary Donato and the story of love will continue to live